Hello! Right, well, I thought I would do something uh, a bit different this time. Uh, again, this is all trying to get the settings correct for, uh, you know, so I can just go on, do some stuff, and then, you know, uh, close it down, and hopefully it'll all work out, because the editing softwares, uh, softwares? Uh, the different softwares that I have, um, some of them are not working, some of them have ran out, and some of them I haven't got installed on this machine. I was trying out some new stuff and uh, it doesn't seem to be working out very well. Need to learn, need to learn those stuff as well. So, uh, for those that are interested as well, um, this is uh, Metal Gear Solid uh, 2 Subsidence. It's the PC sound pack. I just picked one of them and have it run in the background so hopefully it's not too loud. So. What I'm thinking of doing is, uh, well, I've got what I what I seem to see is basically all all this sort of free money, free monies, um, which is well, I've got cards, so I can craft badges and I can claim back cards. So I guess what I could do is nip through a bunch of the games and see how long it takes to. Uh, get the cards, which is probably already online, but I'll have a wee look and uh, yeah, just play some games and try and grab as many cards as I can, while at the same time, you know, hopefully having a bit of fun. Like for example here, Nuke Your Throne, uh, I'm assuming it got cards on it there because it got released. Actually, you know what, I should turn off my controller if I'm going to play that. I've noticed that with uh, like Counter-Strike. If I have my controller on, I'll be playing with the keyboard and mouse, and then the controller will start just buzzing on the uh, on the table, just going when uh, if it, yeah when you when you're shooting it buzzes. Um, oh yeah, that was a Steam controller. Can't see it that way. Steam controller. So I've been pleased with the Steam controller, but I'll probably talk about that at some other time. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, let's let's just dive into a random game and see how it goes. So I'll need a need to do a wee bit of fiddling on the uh, on the stream as well since I've got a, a different setup going on and so we will pop across and get things sorted out that way so uh, don't need that and change this to that and that looks okay I will shift my face out of the way a wee bit. Um, wee mini face, wee mini face at the side. I don't, th I don't think it should be covering up too much since it's. Uh, I think it's a four by three. Um, the last time I was playing, I think it was four by three. Um, and we will shoo shoo, and we will also switch it on Twitch. So I am now playing Nuclear Throne. Need to change that. Never mind. Nice one. Cool. Updated. I do apologize. That should hopefully not be as slow next time. And we will actually just dive on into the game. Boop. So we've got total time, I guess that's just from logging in now, and checking the audio. Ah, uh, must be, must be turned down on my, on my screen. Uh, boop. Can't, can't do this without the audio. The audio is very good. The music's very, very, very fun. Uh, there we go. I guess we're doing the tutorial then. Big fan of the crystal. And so I guess we'll just go on ahead. Do the little in. Oh, I've done that right. Why is why still not working? Up. Left. Down. That seemed to go in really oddly. Up, down, left, right. Cool. 
Ba -da -ba -ba. Explosion. Yep. Cool. I guess we'll just do normal. Go for a normal run. Um, as you can see, so uh, I've got nothing unlocked, so it didn't carry over for when they uh, started this, uh, which is absolutely fine, you know. Uh, as it's sort of like a rogue light, I would say. Well, it's, you know, the it's got the permadeath. It's got the oh. and yeah, I will take that. Uh, so it's got the permadeath, and it's got the uh, unlocks that carry over. So. Honestly, it's my type of game. Um, finished uh, Rogue Legacy, finally, um, the first round of it, and it was really good fun. I didn't realize how close I was to the end because m majority of the time I was like trying to clear out the whole mansion. Then I was like, oh, I've just unlocked the door. You know what? We'll just go face the boss now. Um, I think it was like 130 on the health. Uh, sorry, on the levels. Run stuff once. Get you later. Damage taken, delta all enemies, and shells bounce. Eh, might as well. Oh. Cool. I guess I will sort that one out in a second. Oh, not dead yet. No 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 no. Uh oh I guess that wasn't the last one. Maybe I'll save the pack. Boop. Seem to be having a lot of ammo on this anyway, so yeah, I might as well. Keep using the assault. So yeah, Rogue Legacy was good fun as well. Um, I've had that for a while now, but uh, it just seemed to... Uh, the time that I was able to play, um, you know, with the with the slow... Well, sorry, with the... Um, seemed to be getting lucky with this. Uh, oh, achievements. <laughs> um, completely lost my train of thought after he busted out there. Um, uh, oh yeah, so uh, the amount of time I was able to spend on the game um, was a bit different to what I was able to do before. Oh, didn't realise I was the last guy. That's normally good, one, I think. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, so you get like sort of half short bursts, um, and you know, there's a good pause in the game. Oh, I thought that was an enemy for a second. Uh, there is uh, a good pause. Oh, wow. Shotgun hits for massive damage. Uh, the first time I, I was playing this, I used to always get stuck in this level. I should probably switch from the assault rifle since I'm being so inaccurate. Oof. Alright. Oh, still damaged me. Try and get a better angle on these guys. So yeah, I was able to actually uh, invest a little bit of time uh, during the holidays. Uh, you know, trying to make some sort of advancements on it. You know, because uh, you know you go back to a game you haven't played in a while, and you're well, just like I'm doing now. You're not doing <laughs> not doing the best as you thought you would be. Uh... Oh, I'm empty. Grab this.
Um, so that's that's all it seemed to take, you know. Actually sitting down, playing it, getting used to the, getting used to all the things. And now there is a, a plus mode, which I did not realize beforehand, which was. Uh, which I would say, yeah. Oh, jeez. Forgot I did that. Uh, ah, nuts. It opened the case. Um, oh, you can't see it, but the the achievement for the... For what you call it? The, the plant. Oh, it looks really shiny and everything. It's really, really nice. Um, I will go with that. Um... So there's a there's this the new one that's uh, that Rogue Legacy, Rogue Legacy Plus um, seemed like a bit of a daunting task whenever uh, you know I made so much progress before and it's like oh but I I don't want to start it all again but you know you're still maintaining all the all the levels and stuff that you had before and all your equipment so I don't know what's going to happen with the bosses. Um, but I'll, I, I will give it a go. So I think that should be good fun. Maybe get some streaming on that too. Oh, sniper. Oh, it's a ninja. I didn't see it. Well, there you go. And I wonder if I can tab... Well, tab across. No, I haven't had any card drops just yet. I will retry one more time. But yeah, I'll give, it a, I'll give that one another go, and hopefully that should be good fun. Uh, So the loads of different modifiers on this, and that you can like attach to your character beforehand. But I didn't really explore that beforehand. Uh, sorry, before their before their official launch. Um, and I have to say, unlike unlike some other launches that have been from like early access, this is actually you know like the main gameplay was already there, and like these levels that I've played uh, were all sort of. Yeah, they were all sort of tight and well put together. Um, well, that's a weird thing. Um, but like some of the art was missing on like some of the weird like uh, levels that you can get to, but not necessarily have to. Um, oh, no, that's good. There's one that's still left. Um, oh, what? I did. Okay, that's weird. At least I'll take it into the next level with her. Um, go with that. Boop, boop. Kind of, kind of liking the wrench with, the, especially on the early levels. Didn't think we were there already. down there is going to give us a bunch of greenons. Cool. Max boats and um, I think we're taking an assault weapon with us. We'll go grab the other one. Where did it spawn in? Is this the three salt one? No, I think this is the... This is different to the one we had, the weird burst fire one we had before. I think. 
Ah, go for more more health. Go for more health. Might as well. Pop gun. Oh, that's that that's like a shotgun except he, it uses like the the regular ammo. Disconcerting with the the the, the non ease to see. Ah, uh, they've put a mimic in. Never seen that one before. Awesome. Let's see if we get that without unlocking the chest. Happy enough with this sort of setup at the moment. Might as well delay the the chest a bit further. Um. So anything else? Oh yeah, I tried a apotheon earlier, and that was oops. That one was good fun. Uh, was uh, not as talkative during that because I have to say the, the combat was completely different. Completely different. Uh, hmm. I'll try that. That sniper is a little bit nasty. Oh! Maybe didn't notice that one as well. Wow. Oh, I forgot they explode! <laughs> Alright, let's just double check again. Yeah, no, uh, no steam, uh, thingies just yet. Alright. One more go, one more go. Alright, one more go. So yeah, it was, uh, like I said about the early access of this game, the... They had quite a lot of things polished out and they kept with the updates and... I didn't really do much reading, but uh, every time you jumped in, you could, you would normally see something new or something a little bit more polished. Um, like now they've got this, uh, you know, the way it's four by three. They've now got a nice uh, border around it. Um, I would assume so that you know it just lets people do the. Oh, that ran out. All the things. Cool. Must have walked into that one. Dum 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 dum. So yeah, big fan of the music as well. Uh. We'll go do that other one first. Get our ammo. Whatever can hit him into the. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it. Try and leave the other ones. You know what? Go with that, since we're smacking people. Sort of fly about the place a bit, and then you can sort of get a bit of. Sort of a bad angle there. I seem to have stuck my tongue out for every time I've encountered that person. <laughs> Is that us? That's us.
And like for example the, the wee the wee loading swirl thing is I think new. Feels new anyway. So yeah, they've really polished it up for uh, for actual release. Um, but the the big downside of it is they didn't really get a fanfare, especially uh, when you look at uh, Darkest Dungeon. It didn't get as much fanfare upon release, um, unlike its uh oh, even more. No, no, no. Yes. There's the big chest. So, oh yeah, so I'm taking all the weapons into the next round, which is good. Hopefully I'll get some health back again. Look at that. Oh yeah, whoops. I can't remember what game. Oh, Hotline Miami. I was expecting to, the, to lock on down there. Oh, can't seem to hit the guy. Oh, go this way. Oh, they blew up! They blew up! <laughs> uh, oh well. Um, so. Again, yeah, so they've, you, guys, you saw how easy it is to get some people unlocked. Um, so we start off with those two, and then we got eyes, melting, and plant. So, like I was saying before, you can go into here and you can actually just uh, uh, add in a bunch of different things. It looks a bit different from last time as well. Um, I think you can... Yeah, you can really, really change things about when you unlock one. Well, now they've got the pop-ups as well to tell you how to do it. Uh, which is pretty cool. So I wonder what reach for question mark. With every character. Nice. Um, right, well that'll, that'll do us for the moment. And <laughs> I, I will jump on later on again. So, thanks very much for watching. Ta-ra!